Welcome to the 24 hour rebuilding challenge. I cleared out my entire RuneScape account and now I have no gear and no money, but I do have time, 24 hours to be exact, to make as much GP as I can. But there's a catch. If I wanna use combat for this video, I'm only allowed to use melee. With that said, let's begin. We've got 24 hours on the clock, starting in three, in two, in one, let's begin. The hacker was kind enough to leave me 25 GP to go with. So usually I start off with a flask run. This time around, I actually want to start by reclaiming a wicked hood. Yes, I would love a wicked hood. Thank you so much. And we're going to make some asteroids. And we want to activate resourceful. Uh, that is going to give me some extra sandstone. But let's get into the grand exchange, sell some stuff, and get amongst it. Bird meat, sell those. Hopefully things sell. I think these kinds of things will sell because they're pretty high volume. And just like that, seven minutes and 30 seconds into the rebuild, we have one 1.7 million coins. So next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be buying bomb vials and vials of water. There we go. Vial of water pack, bomb vial. Beautiful. Then the next one is at Fort Ferinthry. Granny Rowan. Oh, I don't have a tier three buttonist workbench. That's a little unlucky. What we're going to do here is we're going to trade Spira and buy the broad arrowheads because they are 50 GP there. They sell in the Grand Exchange 400 GP. No, that's a lot of profit. And then we're gonna go to the Canifus Lodestone and do the same thing. Just like that, I'm gonna open up my vial of water packs as well because I believe these guys are worth a little bit too. Yeah, 100 GP each. That's another 400,000 coins. And then the broads is another 600,000 coins. So now, 11 minutes in, I've already got 3 million coins. I'm gonna be spending on the rune crafting cape for a Vizwax combo because that's gonna be a chunk of money as well. So we're gonna do blood runes, chaos runes, death runes and 91 what wait but okay one moment i'm buying an extra 11 just because i'm scared there we go combine absolutely beautiful 91 vizwax that's gonna sell for 1.5 mil as well also we may have bought some extra death runes so i'm gonna sell those and some extra chaos runes as well actually i'll keep the chaos runes because we're gonna need them for vulnerability later let's throw in our master farmer outfit and let's head to Heads Oasis. All right, let's get Ultra going. So then I super compost and then Ultra go. If we get gold roses, it's a ton of money. If we don't get gold roses, well, we are a little bit out of luck, but this should be really, really good. I checked the wiki page and the equivalent GB per hour on this is like 50 mil an hour, something like that. Did I win? Any gold roses? Nope. Come on. This is kind of a kind of a rough start, honestly. Dude, my comments are gonna be like, Ryan said this was a good method and then did it and then made no money. But are you insta the roses with melee? <laughs> All right, last chance for gold roses. Please, are you kidding me? So the next thing I wanna do for a little bit of GP, it, where's Bill? I've not done the tutorial <laughs> for this method. This should be quick, this should be quick, this should be quick. This is pretty good GP. According to the wiki, this average is out to be about 16 million GP an hour. Yeah, each of these are 800 GP each. Yeah, that's amazing. Last invent of this, we'll sell these off and then uh, yeah, we'll start buying some melee gear. All right, Dino Profile sells for three point... Whoa, it's way over. Okay, so we've got 8.6 mil. Let's buy a Ripper Claw. Ryan versus Grand Exchange. Um, I don't think we bother augmenting them for now because augmenters are kind of expensive. Vesta's chain body, does it buy? Oh, it does. Okay, nice. Dude, I might not even upgrade these. I might just keep them at their current level. Dude, I'm going to be styling in a second. Here, check this out. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Dude. Dude, he's absolutely sick with it. I actually look like the stupidest man in Gilinor. They're worthless. Dude, melee is so sick. Laceration boots bought already. We're like, we're 40 minutes in. We got a setup. Uh, can I get another ring? All right, that's half a million gold for my Asylum Surgeon's ring. Thoughts on a vamp scrim? I think it's worth it. I know it's an 800k sunk cost pretty early, but they're, they're like really, really useful for melee upkeep. Wait, is this the Legends Cape, dude? Okay, Legends Cape. Yeah, it does have perks in it. Wait, but it doesn't have, it doesn't have strength cape. Okay, so we're gonna have to buy a max cape for two and a half mil at some point to get the strength cape perk. I guess we just wear, I'll just buy a strength cape. Dude, I literally look like 2009. Let's buy five beautiful overloads. All right, that is a beautiful batch of five overloads. Sea turtles are nice and cheap. Bro, okay, just kidding. A shipment of sharks. Oh, wow. 
Dude, I can't believe sea turtles have been dethroned. I think we're ready to go get obsidian armor. I just hope this goes okay, man. I've never done this with melee before. I've never done a Zuck round with melee either. All right, we have crossed over the one hour mark. I'm feeling pretty good about the gear. I will say, like, we're kind of styling a couple questionable slots, but I think the, the base stuff I have, tier 80, tier 83. But yeah, we're just getting some obsidian armor so that we can hopefully safely do the fight kiln. No Scourge, it's cringe. Wait, what's wrong with the Scourge? Huh? Oh. What? It hit me an extra 10! I wasn't paying attention! Oh, it's a safe death. It's a safe death. Oh my god, but I lost half my shards! Oh, that's so annoying. That is 142 obsidian shards. So why don't we go make some obsidian armor? One and a half mil. That's really expensive. Dude, I don't know why I- Whenever I do one of these, nothing buys. Yeah, let's do a, a main hand VLS, an augmented offhand Ripper Claw with Precise on it. And then, yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. That is a beautiful superior vest longsword. So the reason it needs to be a slash weapon is because we're buying a dragon scimitar, which is gonna boost our hit chance on slash weapons, but only on slash weapons. So basically it's not gonna work with my Masudas because that's a stab weapon. Dude, we actually, that's actually so sick. That is a beautiful Death Warden Nexus. We have reclaimed an Excalibur to the fight kiln. Let's get it. Okay, this obsidian armor seems to be kind of cooking. I'm not gonna lie. Also, this vamp scrimshaw is actually goaded. Like, is it possible melee is just really fun? If I can get out of here in less than 30 minutes, that's gonna fire me up, like, properly. Yeah, so for the magic waves and for the jad waves, I'm just gonna do them with the dragon scimitar, and it's gonna guarantee 100% hit chance. That's sort of the whole idea of it. Yeah, see how I've got 70% hit chance? Without the dragon simi, my hit chance would be, like, 20%. First jad has been handily handled yeah first 10 waves took uh six minutes feels like a good pace faint bang dude that hit like a bus okay that's my new favorite thing is just spamming the vesta longsword special and there we go bit of that One of those little razzle dazzle bang two hour check-in we are almost completed the fight guild we're actually moving on an absolute pace have not had to use any food yet i'm feeling progressively better and better about this zuck run as time passes bang bang dude this is actually just vls go four vls specs in a row gets it done okay ready bang 11k dude 27 minutes in i'm feeling good about this run but it's definitely time to strength crystal 148 okay surely 148 strength is enough let's go Dude, even with the dragon simi, I don't have the best hit chance here. Wait, chaos roar? Faint, go, bang. 25k! Wait, I'm actually a juicer. That was almost a one cycle. Okay, strength crystal, unreal. Faint special attack, even more unreal. That is a beautiful sub 30 minute fight kiln. Two hours and 10 minutes into the rebuild. But next, we've got to do Zuck. So I don't really know what to spend the last like million coins I have on, but talk our Calcat. Beautiful. Thank you so much. That is a beautiful Sard Omen's Whisper. And I think it's Zuck time. Dude, why is a wooden shield not buying for 10,000 coins? Oh my god, I clapped that. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I went too fast there. Okay, this will not be flawless, but that's okay. Doesn't need to be flawless to get the cape. We're okay. Wait, look at this safe spot. I think this entire run is just gonna be like, if I get good lures on the mobs, we're gonna have an easy, easy time. Okay, ready? Chaos Roar. Faint. Bang. <laughs> that was so sick. Okay, ready? Chaos Roar. Faint. Bang. Oh my God, we're actually gaming. All right, second challenge down. Ooh. Don't care, didn't ask. Let's go. <laughs> so I can't recall where I'm meant to go here. Maybe it's this way. Like with melee is so weird for this. Okay, I think we're good here. Yeah, we're good now. Dude, we're actually cruising this. I'm so happy with how well this run's going so far. All right, let's go. That's gonna hit me. Wait, I might be able to one cycle this, actually. Dude, I'm gonna be so annoyed if I fail this. <laughs> Please don't fail it. I think I failed this by like a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. We got off to a great start. I just, the thing kind of hit me while I was channeling destroy and I didn't want to cancel it, but that's okay. Guys, I'm starting to think the RS guy might win. Goodbye, Mr. Harakin. And it's Zuck time. All right, let's see how this goes. I think it's gonna go fine, probably. So there, right before pizza time, I used my special attack, uh, my dragon scimitar special attack so that I've got full hit chance. 
And that should make this really easy, I think. All right, give me the VLS back. Ready? Bang. 30k? Wait. All right, Zuck. See you, bro. 24 minutes and 52 seconds, just under the three hour mark. And we managed to get a Zuck cape. Also, five and a half mil of loot. We grab our beautiful kiln cape. We attach the igneous stone to it. We have a beautiful melee Zuck cape. Dude, look at the fit. Fit honestly goes hard. I don't have high hopes for this, but we'll try it out. Guys, we're not geared for this. <laughs> Whose idea was this? This is stupid. This is so stupid. Okay, I did get a skip though. Wait, we're going to P7. Okay, this is still terrible. Like as a money-making method right now, we're just not there yet. If I had a way to like sustain better and heal better, like, like maybe. P7 time. Hook. Stick. Okay, so let's lower the stick. Stop! Hook, 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 hook! Brother! My, the, well, fortunately, the death cost more a hurt on the pride than the coin pouch. But yeah, that was an absolute waste of 10 minutes. Can we all admit and agree? Okay, screw it. Let's buy a better shield. Ever sell this? Let's see if I make profit on this. Dude, actual 18K? You're telling me I could pick up wooden shields from the floor for 18K a pop. That's kind of nuts. This is going to be the final try at Zamorak, okay? Like, just because I think there are different bosses we should be doing instead. I don't, I just don't think we're here yet. I'll do, I'll do one attempt. Fork. B. Okay, you know what though? Like, let's just see what happens here. All right. There's the dragon scimitar. Go! Oh my god, that was so close! Okay, we're not doing that again. That was a colossal waste of time. But uh, hey, we got her done. <laughs> see, here's the thing though. Dude, that's 30 mil an hour. Let's do an elite dungeon one run. And then we'll see what we think is the best method slash best option for me. I need to buy a max cape too to change my max cape perks for the strength cape. Step one, find max. Let's buy ourselves a max cape. I think it's time to augment a superior Vesta chain body because the vestment top is gonna be the last piece that I buy anyway. Yes, the expensive part there is the three and a half mil of divine charges, but that is a beautiful augmented top we can now perk up. So let's make some armor gizmo shells and let's decide on our first two perks. Any biting two mobiles in chat? Okay, beautiful. And then I'm gonna grab enhanced devoted four as well. So enhanced devoted four is like a 30% damage reduction wherever we bring it. Biting two mobile, great for mobility in general, which especially if we're doing like an elite dungeon next, just a good perk to have. Let's get into ED1 out of pure morbid curiosity. I do think it's gonna be bad, but let's let's find out how bad. If this run takes me 30 minutes, I'm okay with that. If it takes me 60 minutes, then it's a complete waste. So far for the first section though, I think we're doing quite well actually. There we go. Honestly? 142, that's not a bad kill time. This makes me feel like we could probably do ED1. Yeah, I'm actually, I know Zami didn't go well. I'm quite impressed with the performance of this setup at ED1 so far. This seems like a good option. Cause then every single run you do, you can make a bunch of upgrades as well. And I can start running it with Lucky Charms too. This could get me clue scrolls that I could do, like if I want to run elites. But yeah, no, I'm feeling like ED1 might be fun. I think I want to keep this Vesta Longsword for the whole rest of this thing. It's just such a cool weapon. So we're 10 minutes into this run, we're at Masuda. It's possible we could be doing three runs an hour here. I hate to say it, I'm committing to ED1. This is sick. Like I'm actually so enjoying this. And making this decision before Masuda, I think is kind of funny. <laughs> this would be the point that you probably want to get past before you commit to ED1, but I think ED1 is the way. I love the part where my vulnerability splashed. Dude, look at my hit chance. Why is it so bad? Okay, so note to self is I actually need to Dragon Scimitar this boss. I think the Dragon Scimitar though is what absolutely saves this playstyle. Move. Oh, that prayer flick saved my life. Pretty cool. It is kind of funny to think about though, that the dragon simi is like the update that saved melee, like genuinely. Cause now I have a hundred percent hit chance as long as I'm using a slash weapon. But yeah, so I think next upgrades is as much as I love the Vesta's longsword, replace it with the tier 88 length sword. Cause this Vesta's longsword also isn't even augmented. Bro, anyone else feel like the water phase is just a little long? 
It's by no means a fast kill, but it's also not like a 30 minute kill. And my armor is good enough. Like I'm actually tanking pretty well, I think. This is like, we can definitely do Elite Dungeon 1. All right, you know what? VLS spec to finish it off. Ready? And bang. Uh, what'd I get? I got 18 Onyx Dust. Okay, that's not great, but let's get into Syria. Dude, my VLS spec is hit as 27k. <laughs> Wait, we're, we're kind of nasty. Okay, yeah, this is sick. The other thing too, like a really big upgrade that I'd like to make, I think it'd be really, really strong to get to the point to where I can do longer Zerk with Vestments. I think Vestments would be really, really good. Oh no, move. Oh, I dodged. Wait, I'm actually an animal. Move. Why don't I eat food? Dude, this is why I didn't want to do ED1 on the hardcore, man. It's such a spooky boss fight. All right, team, let's go. Wait. Wait, we're cooking. Bang? Dude, I just went demon mode. Okay, yeah, this is going to be an easy two cycle. Dude, did you guys see that? I almost killed it completely. That was nuts. Bro, move. No. <laughs> okay, you hate to see it. Yeah, do you guys remember when Seryu came out and it didn't scale for team size? <laughs> so in solo, you were meant to do like 10 cycles. I'm glad they changed it in a way, just cause like it was probably a little overly punishing, perhaps. It was cool having a boss fight where getting the drops was like genuinely locked behind an extreme level of proficiency and consistency. So yeah, if we're doing the dungeon one, we could do two runs an hour. Faint for drops, bang. Six scales. That's not terrible. We can do another run. So the minimum roll of this boss is it's six plus or minus two. So if you get four to eight, that's the minimum amount. But still, it's 8.6 mil. It took us 30 minutes, which I mean, honestly, compared to what we did at Zami, that's a lot worse. We're going to do another run here. I've got 30 minutes on Aura. It's just the perfect amount of time. I'm going to sell these ancient scales for 1.2 mil a pop. Assuming they sell, which they do. And yeah, dude, like it's, it's just really good, consistent money. We've now got 11 million coins. So let's buy some supplies for overloads. So four and a half hours in, we are officially an elder overload PVMer. My prayer is disabled. These guys can knock your pr I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die. Bro, I am perma stunt. Okay, can I say, I see why people dislike ED1. Like just the mobs themselves. Like the dungeon itself is I. I don't hate the dungeon. I just hate all of the people that reside in the dungeon. You know, they're annoying. Wait, look how much faster this kill is than last time. Wait, we're actually crushing this. Bang. Oh, I got a fishy treat. <laughs> yes, dude, that thing is like worth multiple million coins because some people are willing to spend a couple million coins to avoid a one minute boss fight. That's actually unreal. Now we're five minutes into this run. We're past the first boss. I'm just having fun here too. I think that's an important thing to remember when you're looking at what the best money maker is. The actual answer isn't, well, on paper, Zamorok is the best GP. The actual answer is it's the method that you're actually willing to do for a long time without getting tired of it. Because if you do Zami and you're hating every minute of it, you know, that's not the best for your actual progress. You're probably going to want to give up and, and do something else and not play. Oh hey. my god. Ah, <sighs> oh, dude, I'm getting ED1 right now, man. The best part about ED1, dying specifically right there, it comes with a built-in walk of shame because I'm actually going to have to run all the way back. Three minutes later and we're back to the exact point we were at. Waste the 10 seconds and go to the bank. But you know, <gasps> how did that hit me? We're actually in so much danger. The danger is within me. It's all around me. There's nothing more satisfying than being in a terrible melee setup and then berserking and nuking the boss with 30Ks. Any droppers? Ready, bang, and then faint. Bang. Um, 27 ducks. That's not bad. What? How did I kill it? Okay, wait, we're actually nuts. Dude, this melee setup goes harder than one would anticipate. See ya, bro. All right, let's faint for drops. 
Bang. Did I win? Ooh, 14 scales. Okay. Seven times two. That's actually great. How much money did we make that run? We made... Wait, we made 22 mil that run. That's actually beautiful. Let's try to buy a tier 88 Lang Sword. And it bought for 22.5 million coins. Beautiful. Doesn't seem like the most clear. Wait, is that really what it looks like? Dude, it looks just like the tier 95 one. I don't think we're going to be able to afford vestment pants, like, soon. So I think it's worth the spend on an augmentable set of Vesta pants. Okay, augmented melee items, and let's get ourselves another 5 million GP upgrade for an augmented superior Vesta's plate skirt. Augment that, throw a perk or two on there. I'm going to leave one perk slot empty, because whenever it's Vorkath time... Actually... What if it is Vorkath time? I think we should try and just see how it goes. Because normal Vorkath is actually quite good money. I have it written down here. It's 36 mil an hour. Five hours and 14 minutes in. And we've got a brand new beautiful salve amulet. Tarn's Diary. Enchant the salve amulet. Okay, beautiful. So the reason we're doing Abyssal Armor Spikes right now is because they apply a bleed to your target. And then with the Jaws of the Abyss Helmet, that's actually going to give me bonus adrenaline. Which is something that we're kind of starved on a little bit here. Because vestments were basically like the solution to melee's adrenaline problems. And obviously, I am not gonna have vestments for a while because that's the best melee gear in the game. So very quickly, just kind of as a bit of a stop gap, we're gonna have the Jaws of Abyss that are constantly procced by the armor spikes. That should give me a good chunk of extra adren. I definitely like having the Salve Amulet just cause it lets me do like genuinely good damage. Dude, that Lang special is really good. Bye. 5.52. Okay, so six minutes a kill. I have no idea what the average loot per kill is, but that seemed like an option, and I'm guessing I could get my kills to, like, four minutes. If I could get into a spot where I can soul split camp, we could be in a really good spot here. So anyway, I'm glad we tried that out. I think Vorkath, not right this second, but later on, very viable for us. So let's grab our loot. No way! <laughs> That's so sick. That is such a good drop. If I can sell these for like four mil. Yeah, that's great. We've got 16 mil now. Yeah, I think that's a one in 50 though to get that loot. So it's not like that's going to happen every time. Um, But still, I'm glad we did that. Um, I think we should go back to ED1 though, for sure. What do you offer me, Siri? Honestly, we did great last kill. So I'll be totally fine if I get a mineral here. Let's do a bunch of bleeds and then Lang spec. And did I win? Bang. Seven. I'm good with seven. That's fine. In six hours, very quick check-in. We've got a Jaws of the Abyss, a main hand Lang Sword, got an offhand Ripper Claw. We've got augmented his superior Vesta's gear. We were able to do normal mode Vorkath. We were able to do 100% enraged Zamorak. And we've been able to farm Elite Dungeon 1. The goals or, or next steps to me, we need to decide if I want to get an off-hand sword. we could actually buy it basically now. The other option, we could save and we could pool our money. Plus this, we're actually halfway or almost halfway to getting an Abyssal Scourge, which is the weapon that I want to use for the remainder of the challenge. If we can just buy this outright for 23 mil, I think we'd do it if we can, and we can. Okay, exactly 23 mil. Done. So the reason we're doing that is because these things actually work really well in conjunction together because they can both generate primordial ice and then the offhand actually gives you frost blades for six seconds. If either the main hand or the offhand apply it, and that six seconds, every hit I do is going to do 25% up to a maximum of 500 more damage. The only thing that looks terrible here is my amulet slot, and it desperately needs to be improved. All right, let's go. No! Ooh. Eat the food. Okay, big heal, now we're good. Melee is kind of fun. I like the part where my bleed didn't walk. Lang spec, bang. All right. What do you got for me, Masuda? Onyx Dust. Great. Bro, it was phased! Zero personal accountability here. I can't believe the game would do that to me. What do you got for me, boss? Bang. 19 scales. Wait, we're actually off to an incredible start. That's not even like a 100 scale drop, but like 19 scales is unreal. Look at this. 26 mil made in the first run. We need to get up to 120 mil for the Scourge. 60 mil for the Amulet of Souls. I'm so dead here. 
I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, did my overpower null? No, <gasps> no, it's on cooldown. No, my Devo had one second on cooldown. <laughs> okay, let's just get through this run. Honestly, let's just get through this run. All right, let's go. Bang. <laughs> okay, dude, these like baby Lang swords are pretty sick with it. And bang, how do we do? Eight skills. I'm good with eight skills. All right, it kind of has to be said. I think I deserve a min roll here. Dude, what if we get like 200? I don't even know what I would do with 200. And... 54! <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, ED1 is the best. We have some decisions to make. We have enough money for a Scourge. But then the question is, do I want a Scourge or do I want an Amid of Souls? I think I want to do one more run. I've got aura time ticking. And then we'll assess with our funds after this run. Yeah, you also have to remember that these Langs are tier like 88 in terms of damage, right? So... Going up to tier 92 as well on the Scourge is going to be unreal. It's going to be hit chance, it's going to be damage, it's going to be everything. What the crap? From there? Bro was in Narnia! Hello? Oh my god. I have died to the same thing like 11 times today. I'm the worst. Any droppers? Bang. How many scales? 10. Dude, we're doing really well here on scales. That's sick. Okay. Let's check our loot. Let's go make some purchases. Okay, so if these actually sell for this, we're in a really good spot. Okay, they don't, that's okay. But that is 114 mil. Holy moly. Okay, we've got 119 million coins. We've got two kind of good upgrades to make. I think I should probably do the Scourge because like it's a tier 92 and it's slashing type two, so it works with the Dragon Simi. Yeah, let's do a Scourge. Doesn't buy. <laughs> Grand exchange moment coming in. Pretty cool. Okay, there we go. 140 million coins. And just like that, we've got a tier 92. Let's augment up our Scourge. We need to put Eruptive 4 on it as well. Let me see if I get his first try Eruptive 4. That'd be cool. Actually, it's pretty common, right? Bang. Easy. Clear the Eruptive 4 perk on it. Clear the level. 600k. Beautiful. And then we can sell this back in the Grand Exchange. It should sell for 20 mil. You know what? I'm gonna leave it in. It's gonna slow sell for that. So I think the next upgrade I want, we've got a total of like 25 or 26 mil. So what I think I wanna do, why don't we go try out some Raksha? I think it's a pretty good boss to do with melee. Surge in. Okay, we're phased. Sorry, I know we're getting spammed with ability not ready yet. That's my bad. That's like a personal skill issue. Okay, this seems to be going well though so far. And then I'm assuming once I clear pools, I zerk again. What the? Ooh, I'm dying. Help. Oh, I'm skill issuing. Wait. Oh, it's not key bound. Wait, my gear isn't key bound. Okay, hold. Let me fix it. Okay, this would be phased right now. If I wasn't throwing. I also know I need to vuln again. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we could get out of there at like 130 easily. Odds I try to just go like this. Just insta zerk. Yeah, this seems fine. Like, obviously, this is a slow kill, but I think we could get like two thirties with this setup pretty easily with the right, uh, with the right strats. That was good. Okay, ninety eight onyx dust. We can definitely do Raksha. Wait, we're cooking. And just like that, we've got a sub three. Honestly, like I, I feel good about that, man. We absolutely just cooked that last phase. That was sick. Bye. Ooh, Fleeting Boots coming in. Very nice. Okay. I also have stopped using food apparently for these kills, so that's good as well. Still, man, three mil is three mil, and I'll take it. All right, it's begun. <laughs> the seed run is here. That's fair. It's probably deserved to. Any droppers? Bang. Crystal keys. All right, that's gonna be the last kill of the Raksha hour. Any drops? Three ceramic scales. Okay, that's not a great drop. We definitely started out stronger than we ended, but why don't we take a look at the loot, see how much we made. Uh, loot from an hour of Raksha plus three mil for the Fleeting Boots. We made, it's not terrible. 10 and a half mil, I'll take it. Still, I think we go back to ED1. It's just so consistently good money. Run, run. All right, we're fine. That's a PR. Wait, no, what is that I threw? Oh no, that is, that's still a PR compared to uh, our last fastest run. We're definitely doing more than two an hour, but we're definitely doing less than three an hour. 
We're only 15 minutes into this run right now. All right, up we go. Don't kill me. Ooh, move. Oh no, I messed up. Anti, got it. We're fine. It doesn't matter if it doesn't die, by the way. The one thing is, if it doesn't die, then you need to make sure that you uh, you actually clear all of the all of the smoke. Chaos roar, overpower for drops. Bang. How do we do? Seven scales. That's okay. Let's go again. Um, yeah. So that full run actually was 19 minutes. Wait. We might be at three runs an hour territory right now. Bruh. What? <laughs> Look, just, just, just don't, just don't, don't, don't even bring it up. All right. My death cost is 4,000 gold. All right. Goodbye. Double fishy treat. <laughs> please don't spin again. Bro, I said, please don't spin again. <sighs> no. Oh no. Imagine this challenge, but on old death costs. Surely. Six scales. That's okay. All right. Yeah. Even with three deaths, we still have time to do one more run to do three in an hour. This won't kill me, will it? Nope. Bang. 114. Okay. That's like a six second PR. Good stuff. Chaos Roar to finish it off. Bang. How many scales? 22. That's honestly a great drop. I'm super, super stoked with 22. That's sick. <laughs> And how much money do we make from this hour? We made 63 mil this hour. Wait, that's enough for an Amulet of Souls. All right, if this actually buys for 60 mil, I think it will. Uh, sweet. 57 mil spent. I am, I'm happy with that. In the future, if we get a chance to upgrade it, we will. We can upgrade that ourselves into an Essence of Finality. We have the Blubbers, we have the Bruise. Yeah, it is, it feels like Zamrock is a boss that we should probably be using Bruise at. Do we want to do a Calgarian or a Hel Probably a Calgarian, because then I can keep Volning without Vuln Bombs, which is good. Uh, this could go poorly, in which case, back to the drawing board. But yeah, I want to see how it works, because, you know, we're just under 10 hours in. We've done, you know, the first half, I'd say, pretty dominated by ED1. So, you know, I think it's good to, I think it's good to mix it up a little bit. Time to find out if Zamrock is easier than it was before. Okay, that was good. Yeah, I'm just really curious. Like, I don't know that I'm gonna commit to doing 11 hours of Zamorak, but I, I wanna see if there's feasibility here with uh, with doing this boss. Okay, so it still feels like I need to Zerk every pad, which is okay. But yeah, that's definitely slightly less good, but that's okay. That's just like one of the pitfalls of melee Zamorak. This is definitely like, from a survivability standpoint, this is really, really free. It's just figuring out the best way to do the mechanics is all that we need. I also think because it's only 100k damage, I think we should try to do it without shards and shatter. Related though, what is the plan for, for last phase? I've done zero thinking about this. Okay, that worked. <laughs> the last phase definitely worked. And we made four mil. That's not bad. It's like three ancient scales worth. All right, I'm gonna throw it in the bank and yeah, we'll definitely go again. Oh God. <laughs> okay, that was bad. That was really bad. We shaved a minute off, but that P7 was terrible with the back rune. I just think it took me way too long to get to Zami. Kill's a kill though, you know? Five mil, add it to the bank, and let's buy a Razorbacks. That is a beautiful set of Razorback gauntlets, which we are going to equip. Dude, I haven't used Razorbacks in so long. Oh no. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Boss died, I didn't. Oh no, I don't have a barge. <gasps> no! It was 11k? Oh, that's so sad. I don't know why my barge didn't go off there, but that's a skill issue. Would it be stupid to look at Vorkath again? Wait, my keybinds are all wrong. Sorry, what is going on? I didn't bring an anti-fire. I'm glad we tried though, you know? I'm glad we tried. So we can do a normal mode Vorkath kill in four minutes time using a full invent of food. 
Ready for a uh, Lord of Bones incantation? Three, two, one, bang. Can you imagine? 120k? Okay. Bro, an 8k? Dude, you can zerk once. You'll end up at death, but you can do it. Okay, you should have led with that because you said you could zerk once. So I was like, all right, I'll zerk. The answer is like seven minute kills that are kind of scuffed. Oh God, run. I'm getting skulls. But you know, a kill is a kill is a kill. 704. Okay, I didn't hate that. Yeah, like I did, I ended with no food left, you know? Like we can't really do it much riskier than that. But yeah, hey, maybe we'll just get really, really lucky. We'll just get a drop on the first loot. But yeah, 11 hour check-in, I'm feeling good. You also have to remember that I'm using reverse scrolls there too. So every kill I'm doing is costing me like half a million reverse scrolls. Did I win? Okay, may have not won. I'm glad we tried that. Let's go back to Zabarok. Jesus! <laughs> I don't think I need to one cycle it. I think I just Devo. That, that kind of hurt. All right. I will take my 5 million coins and we will perform a mental regrouping. Okay, that was better. Nice. Good kill. Another 4 mil out of the bank. We'll take it. Okay, see, this is kind of scuffed, but like it doesn't, it shouldn't really matter. Oh, fine. Bang. 520k, another good quick kill. No green sparkles. Fine by me. I'll take my 4 mil. Big wilderness sack. What do you got for your boss? Actually, do the little one first. I got nothing. Big one, I got salvage. All right. Back to Zami. Let's go. What? I <laughs> took goodbye. <laughs> Wait, we actually cooked that. I don't even know what happened. I blinked and it was gone. Dude, the chaos for overpower just does the whole phase. If I was stacking shards, which like isn't worth the time, the rotation would literally just be chaos for overpower shatter and then it dies. That's so funny. Big five mil added to the pouch. That's my 600th solo Zami kill too. Nice. I'm gonna try 200% kill. Let's, let's try it out and see how it goes. Okay, 543 at 200. Okay, so clearly 200s are better than 100s. That only took 30 seconds longer. We have just crossed the 12 hour mark, which means I wanna take a quick gander at my loot, just a quick look, and make some make some upgrade related assessments. Just, you know, kinda see where things are at. But yeah, just from like this like hour and a half or so of Zamorak, check this out. That's like 40 mil in comments. That's beautiful. Collect. And just like that, we're up at 53 mil. And I still have more loot too. Yeah, I, I think Zami is just really good. Like we haven't even been there for very long, which means at the 12 hour mark, just to do a quick kind of tally of what our loot is worth. So our total bank value, about 315 million coins. I feel great about that. The outfit's nice. We got a Zuck Cape. But yeah, we need to keep pushing because the next upgrades are, are really, really good and really, really expensive. I'm also going to just double extend this vamp scrim shot because I know I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to running this thing the whole rest of the thing. Like the vamp scrim is so good. I've been so unlucky on bow pieces that like, I honestly can't even imagine that that would happen. If it did though. Dude, what would I even do with a bill? I buy full vestments for sure. Ready? Bang. Absolutely sick. We're green! Oh my goodness, okay. 13 hours in, we're actually green. This is my Zami log, so I've done 1,300 kills, one bow, okay, one bow, 15 vestment pieces, 27 codices. So uh, I'm looking forward to claiming my absolutely beautiful chaos roar. Sometimes you gotta even them up. Here we go, in three, in two, in one. You know what? I'm actually cool with that. That's actually a cool drop. I will take a vestments rope top. It is not the bow, which, you know, would be way better. I could buy full vestments for that. But I'm very, very pleased with that. That's actually a very good drop. The question now is like, do I use it? I'm absolutely in. Okay, let's perk this thing up. All right, let's see how much money we got now. 88 mil? Okay, dude, Zamorak is the ticket, man. That was 40 mil in common drops. Dude, my character looking ripped. Holy moly. 
can tell he's been meleeing all day. I think it's time to say goodbye to the superior Vestas chain body. I'm disassembling it. It did serve us very well though. Gone. Let's augment up our vestment top. Oh yeah. Dude, we're kind of juiced. Help! Please, help me! Oh, you've been playing a while. Consider, wait, is that my second one? Hey, we're gaming today, dude. <laughs> All right, let's collect, so from 85 mil to 125? Nah, dude, we're actually making 40 million coins an hour in raw commons without unique chance. That's obscene. Vestment boots, buy. They are 106 million coins. And now we've got the two-piece vestment set effect. Wait, I just skipped at 500. Wait, okay, that's actually good to know. Wait, we're cooking. Okay, so now the only question that remains is can we survive the last phase? I have absolutely no clue, but let's find out. Oh God, the bomb is enlargening. Help. No, it was so close. Wait, I survived. He lives. Bro, I have no idea how I, what? You know, don't care, didn't ask. Do not care, did not ask. Did not, did not, did not ask. Do not care. Pause. Bang. Like, I know that was scuffed, but from a kill time standpoint, it wasn't actually bad. I did it! With no shatter! Okay, let's go. That was clean. That was clean. Okay, I need shatter though. I definitely need to remember to shatter, but that was good. Eight minute kill. 7.7 .7 mil, pretty good. Dude, I don't think I've gotten a single special attack this whole kill at 500%. We're good. Five shard shatter. Finish it off. Beautiful. These P7s are an absolute blast. I'm green! No freaking way! Wait! Come on. <laughs> My 28th book! 21 million coins! <sighs> We're almost at the 24 hour mark of the rebuild. We've only got about eight hours left to play. The first thing I wanna do today is our third attempt at actually getting some gold roses. I'm just kind of annoyed. Like we we set up for this, we planned for this. Zero gold roses, two days in a row. So let's try to fix that hopefully. Gold roses, please. Yes! Dude, only three. <laughs> to be fair, they are a mil each. Okay, that was not the most worth it thing ever, but you know what, three mil is three mil. <gasps> not that way! What am I doing? Help! <laughs> How is that fine? First kill down. So eager to meet your end. That's crazy. Sometimes you have to die to not, not die? All right, let's go. Absolutely free, beautiful kill. Okay, we've got a great P7 rotation. That was the wrong ability. <laughs> oh my God, I, I, yeah, it's fine. Sue me, I used barricade. Hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that. Dude, it's so free, <laughs> what a rotation another 25 mil that's the big thing about 500 versus 200 i'm noticing we're getting way more relics the other thing is so for 225 mil i could also get an eof and i could also get a zaros god sword so we've kind of got three upgrades or i could get a master x spear of annihilation so we've got like four really good upgrades that all cost the same amount i feel like the vestment pants finish the vestment set and then after that we can start working on other stuff my favorite thing about this boss fight is i'm tagging the boss with like nine seconds left in my zerk but that's all you need bang Okay, Zamorok is amazing. What a sick boss. This isn't the bow. All right, ready? In three, in two, in one, bow.
Yes, let's go! <laughs> Boom! Absolutely easy game. I'm so excited to find out that we can't sell it, but I am so stoked. That's basically rebuild complete. 19 hours in, and we got a bow from one of the hardest bosses in the game. We're absolutely gaming. I would like to consider us more or less rebuilt. All right, let's see what this thing sells for. Dude, I love the Grand Exchange. It's like, wait, you got a bill weapon. You're rich. And it literally doesn't sell 300 mil under. 600 mil. Okay. All right. Quick fit check. Dude, this just feels like an actual good PVMing setup. And that is a beautiful essence of finality unlocked. Dude, this rebuild has been absolutely clean. That's so sick. And just like that, we have an absolutely beautiful Dragon Claws EOF. Okay, we're kind of juiced. If I can get these for five times the GE price, I can. Okay, great. So that's 10 Warrior Rings, done. And then I need the Heart of the Warrior. And then we buy this for like 37 mil. And it bought for 29. Okay, beautiful. And just like that, we have an absolutely beautiful Champion's Ring. All righty. To finish rounding out the setup, let's also buy a Masterwork Spear. I think that's the final upgrade we're gonna do because our gear is already completely overboard for this rebuild. I cannot believe our bank is worth over a billion coins and we're not even 20 hours in. But now we've got the sick setup, I honestly don't really feel like pushing myself and doing more Zamorak. Why don't we chill, have some fun, and mess around with our awesome melee gear. To start things off, I think I wanna go back to Elite Dungeon 1, but this time I wanna see if we can one-cycle Seryu. And it looks like we can. Next up, why don't we see how hard mode Vorkath goes? Okay, 625 is not the greatest kill time. Also not great, dying repeatedly to random damage multiple kills in a row. Turns out a billion coins of melee gear is not enough for hard mode Vorkath. But now I'm curious to see if we can solo Solak with this setup. So why don't we give that a shot? We're definitely not breaking any speed records here, but a kill is a kill is a kill and I cannot complain. But now it's time for the loot in three, in two, in one. There is literally no way. This is just too easy. I think I've just spent my luck for the year. This is actually the miracle run. Now that I'm feeling lucky, why don't we try out some hard mode solo care pack? No idea how it's gonna go, but we've got some time to kill. Considering I don't really know what I'm doing, I feel pretty good about these kill times. The setup is definitely working. Okay, I'm actually done now. With our last few hours on the clock, why don't we go do some Raksha and just chill until the timer hits 24 hours. I got some Raksha kills, I got some nice little skips, and now our clock has struck 24 hours. So why don't we do some quick math and figure out how much money we've managed to make. And that is an absolutely wild 1.4 billion coins, meaning in 24 hours, we average just under 60 million coins an hour for the entire challenge. That is absolutely ridiculous considering we had to start from nothing and I just cannot believe how much luck we had on this run. One last thing before we end the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like and subscribing to the channel helps me out an absolute ton. And if you want to see more challenges like this, all you got to do is let me know in the comment section down below. Outside of that, thank you all so much for watching. Your support towards my goal of 100,000 subscribers means the absolute world. And with that said, I will catch you very soon for the next one.